you watching NDTV Profit? Well, VCard came out with its um, Q1 FI25 results yesterday, and uh, it has been an impressive quarter for the company. Summer has acted as a catalyst for the electronic sales. Um, however, electric sales, ha electrical sales, have seen a bit of uh, pressure. But um, you know, to talk more about how the quarter has gone by and how FI25 looks for the company, we are joined by Mr. V Ch uh, Ramchandran, Chief Operating Officer of VCard Industries, who joins us now. Welcome to NDTV Profit. Sir, um, my first question to you is that um, you know uh, your quad this Q1 FI25 has been an impressive quarter and margins have expanded quite a bit. So, um, do you think that this margin expansion will continue in FI25, or um, where do you see the margins going uh, by the end of FI25? So, I think our uh, margins will broadly come back to uh, long-term margins. I think that's something that we've been working on since last year. Uh, the current quarter margins have been favorable because the mix is favorable. Electronics category sales have been good, uh, fundamentally stabilizer and uh, uh, inverter battery. So I think that's helped to you know uh, improve the overall margin. Uh, there, there have been uh, some further uh, input cost increases which have happened fundamentally, you know, is increase in copper, uh, aluminum, lead. Uh, and um, you know some of the oil derivatives, and uh, these are being corrected for. So I think we should come back to the uh, long-term margin average. And uh, yes, the margin for Q1 is uh, strong, but it is also helped by a favorable uh, uh, mix. So I believe then your margins will remain uh, within the range of that eight to nine percent. Okay, and um, you know considering um, uh, the uh, the growth, the revenue growth, can you just give me a number as to how much of it um, was volume contributed and how much of it was value contributed? Yeah, I think our overall margin should remain uh, in the region of uh, nine to ten and a half percent, and not okay. eight to nine percent. Okay, uh, which, uh, which is where we were uh, pre-COVID. Uh, now, uh, sorry, coming back to your, uh, uh, could you kindly just repeat your question again? Sure, sure. So, uh, in terms of revenue growth, how much of it was uh, volume versus how much of it was value growth? I think, um, you know, uh, the mix was very favorable, both on the uh, volume and uh, value side. I think the volume growth was uh, quite strong also because fundamentally categories like stabilizers saw very strong growth. I think that uh, we would have had, uh, you know, uh, two to three percent, uh, you know, incremental uh, value growth over volume growth. I think that's uh, how you could uh, make sense of this. Yeah. Right. And uh, you know, your Sunflame margins have been impacted a bit in this quarter. Do you expect this to continue uh, in uh, FI25 going forward, or do you expect recovery in uh, the margins for Sunflame? Uh, no. Uh, I think um, I think uh, the uh, quarter one, uh, you know, is um, you know, in terms of revenues, a lower quarter compared to uh, the remaining quarter of the year. I think uh, last year, uh, you know, we we had. Uh, uh, firstly, our uh, number on Sunflame is in line with plan because you know we are making investments and uh, there have been investments on uh, talent side, uh, you know, which are reflecting in uh, you know the uh, higher cost uh, at one end. Yeah, at the other end, you know, Q1 is generally a lower quarter compared to uh, you know uh, the remaining quarters of the year, and therefore you know the revenue in the remaining quarters will lift up, and therefore the margins will lift up. Uh, also, last year, uh, you know, our ANP spending was uh, practically negligible, uh, whereas uh, this year, you know, the ANP spending has uh, moderated. Yeah. So I think, um, uh, as far as we are concerned, the results are in line with plan, uh, and uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, we should do uh, better in uh, the upcoming quarters as the revenue lifts. Yeah. Uh, I think one uh, background information, of course, is that you know the kitchen, kitchen as a category has been uh, in a challenging uh, environment for the last now seven quarters, and uh, and as you will see results of companies coming, you will observe that you know uh, the macro challenges for kitchen growth are continuing. So uh, I think you know the results may be seen in the, uh, in the context of uh, you know these two observations. Understood. And Mr. Ramchandran, you know, um, you know, from the balance sheet side of things, your debt has reduced from 379 crores to now uh, 217 crores this quarter, which is the gross debt. Um, so I want to understand that further, um, you know, overall in FY25, how much of a debt reduction are you planning? I think, um, uh, you know, because of, um, you know, very strong uh, sales in summer, right, you know, the cash uh, has come back into the company and, you know, overall, uh, 
uh, working capital picture is far more efficient. So, you know, uh, at an aggregate level, actually, you know, we have, uh, you know, uh, cash in the books, right? Even after, uh, let's say, having to pay for uh, uh, dividends, you know, which will uh, shortly be coming up. So I think that, you know, at an aggregate level, we are positive. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we do believe that uh, we should be able to retire the debt uh, by end of this year. Oh, okay. So uh, you'll be debt free by the end of this year. Okay. Or maybe quarter one of uh, next year, you know, worst case. Yeah. So. All right. Okay. And, um, you know, what are the business capex? Well. Sorry? The business keeps well. Yeah. Right. Okay. Perfect. And, um, you know, what are your capex plans for FY25 overall? I think uh, significant uh, capex, uh, you know, is behind us. I think, you know, uh, so you can, uh, you know, you can assume uh, capex spending, you know, more or less in line with, uh, you know, historical uh, capex that you have observed, uh, in, you know, in the previous years, uh, because uh, there is a bit of uh, spending which will uh, happen uh, towards our fan factory, about 30, 40 crores is envisaged for setting up the TPW facility. And uh, there is a bit of capex about uh, 40, 50 crores, uh, which could go towards uh, building of our R&D center, which is a work in progress. Yeah. So, uh, so I think although significant uh, capex in uh, you know new capacities uh, not coming up other than TPW, but together with the R&D center, uh, we will be maintaining uh, capex in the same range as uh, last two three years. Got it. Well, uh, Mr. Ramchandran, thank you so much for giving us those insights uh, on Vigard Industries. And thank you so much for taking our time and speaking with us at NDTV Profit. Thank you so much. Thank you.